I mean, if you can see closely, every once in a while I'll get poked. I don't know if that's normal for pomegranates. It's my first one ever growing a pomegranate, but it's got thorns in here. So not all, not every branch has thorns. But clearly, every once in a while, I'm coming in here and pruning, I get stuck with some thorns. So I'm not too sure if that's the wonderful variety. Good evening, family and friends. And if you're just stopping by, welcome. This is AMZ Backyard Orchard and Vineyard. And today we are talking to you about this beautiful tree. This is our wonderful pomegranate. This tree has just survived its second summer here, planted in our backyard. This is a very sunny, sunny location. It's in a southwestern corner of our backyard and it gets full blazing afternoon heat. But you can see after the second year in the ground, Clearly it is producing fruit. And that's actually the second one. The first one just fell because I believe we are beginning to start shutting down. This tree is starting to show signs of fall. Now this year, 2022, this is now the third week of November. We've been getting lots of chill hours this year. I think we're gonna hit that 300 mark this year and the chill hours are 45 degrees and below for at least an hour. And so far, I think we've probably clocked in at least 50, maybe 75 chill hours. And I believe this thing is starting to finally shut down. Hello, Debbie. But anyhow, I digress. This tree is starting to shut down and I believe this pomegranate that's in here, the last one, is getting super, super sweet. Pomegranates kind of ripen about the same time as citrus do, and that is in about the winter time, late fall, early winter, and even through, gosh, I've had citrus in June hanging off the tree. But pomegranates, that's a different story. We're still learning about pomegranates. We do love to eat them. They are highly nutritious. They are a superfood. Lots and lots of antioxidants. And I'm just waiting for this just to get beat, literally beat red. Almost there. Almost there. We're going to let it hang for as long as it possibly can until it falls off like its little friend already did. We already ate that one and it was delicious. Absolutely delicious. We do prune this. In fact, we prune this in the fall which was for us a little bit early this year. In late September, early October, we pruned this, uh, mostly for size control, because we want to keep this tree harvestable. All these branches hopefully will produce flowers next year. This is just its second year growth, second year summer. And we've pruned this thing twice. We pruned it when it was dormant because it was past our roof. The first year it grew eight feet. And this year I grow another quite a few feet, but it has bushed up. It is a lot denser in foliage, so it's gonna be kind of like a tall hedge, so to speak. And that's the pruning style that we're gonna go with because we want lots of branches, hopefully produce some flowers in the springtime. And if you can see closely, every once in a while I'll get poked. I don't know if that's normal for pomegranates, it's my first one ever growing a pomegranate, but it's got thorns in here. So not all, not every branch has thorns, but clearly every once in a while I'm coming in here and pruning, I get stuck with some thorns. So I'm not too sure if that's the wonderful variety. We do fertilize this tree twice a year. In fact, we've got a fertilizing playlist. I'll leave that down in the description below. We fertilize this tree twice a year in the springtime, about Valentine's Day weekend. And in the fall, usually around September, when the temperatures finally get below that 105 degree mark, these trees really start responding to after that temperature change and then just push that fall growth. That's why we like to prune also during the fall because that's when this thing really starts shooting out beautiful growth and we want all those nutrients, blood and bone meal, that's underneath this mulch to fertilize this beautiful tree, to keep it healthy, to keep it pest free, disease resistant. Fertilizing is the way to go, and especially pruning if you want production on your fruit trees. 
we water it nightly and in the morning 7 a.m. 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. for about 10 minutes each so they get about 20 minutes of drip irrigation every day and then we do flood this about once a week pomegranates are really easy to grow especially here in the desert locations this is growing zone 9b in Arizona just outside of Phoenix if you learned something be sure to give this video a like if you're just visiting consider subscribing we'd love to have you a subscriber and please leave us some questions comments or concerns down in the comment section below we do love hearing from all of our viewers so from my family to yours thanks for watching